Hello my lovelies and welcome back to Sondering Tarot. If you're new here, hi, hello, and welcome. This is your daily tarot reading for the 21st of October 2024. And we'll be using Lisa Pappas' deck, the uh, Unicorn's Journey Tarot for today's daily tarot reading. That'll be listed in the description box down below. After all, it is a new deck. Anyway, let's get started on what's going to happen for you for today. All right, my lovelies, I am back. All your cards are on the table. We actually don't have that many today. Um, we have a one ace, we have one major arcana, so, um, you know, not too bad. There's no synchronicities that I can see. But anyway, the best part of your day, we start off with the five of wands, the empress, the nine of wands, the Queen of Swords, followed by the King of Swords, and the Ace of Pentacles. Okay. I kind of like this. Um, simply because when it comes to creation of any type, uh, manifestation, bringing things together, making new things, or perfecting things, um, you know, uh, we're using skills and abilities that we have. Yes, this is uh, uh, true, very much so, um, not only physically, but spiritually. And sometimes we can crop up against um, some boundaries when it comes to that, uh, or when it comes to that area. It's like we're going, we're going, we're going, and all of a sudden... Um, we hit a brick wall. Hey, we have the brick tapestry laying down here. And sometimes what is needed is actually a breakthrough moment. And in this case, um, we have ideas, communication um, coming through for you in the form of the king and queen of air or swords, depending on which one you want, the element or the suit. Um, and this is your gift. Now, I, I got to say... Some of this is probably going to be your own ideas, you um, thinking outside the box, you, you know, puzzling it out. However, this feels more, I want to say dreamy energy, which is really weird because we're, we're discussing the king and queen of air here, which is swords, thoughts, ideas. You may not realize that you're being gifted the answer. You may literally have a dream or a vision. You may not realize that you're actually having created an open channel. You are channeling your higher self. You are giving yourself the answer or you are channeling your spirit team. Hence this queen and king of air. You have an open channel. You have an open line. Whether you're aware of it or not um, will remain to be seen. That will be different for each of us. But... It's quite interesting that the moment where maybe you're thinking, eh, I'm going to get stuck. Maybe I'm stuck. Maybe I'm trapped. Maybe I can't go forward on this. It's like all of a sudden um, you, you end up opening a channel. Some part of you opens up. You start to receive ideas, information, um, maybe even imagery because ideas um, often aren't always conveyed verbally. They are conveyed in a variety of ways, whether that is emotionally, um, yes, verbally, but also in images. Some of us literally get images uh, better. Not only that, but some of us, that's how we learn. Um, you know, I can give you a full page directions on how to do something step by step by step, or I could walk over and do it and have you watch me and you'll, you'll get it. Um, so depending on how you learn, what your gift and abilities are, Depends on maybe how this is going to show up. Like I said, I get a daydreamy energy. So you're either dreaming or you're daydreaming. You know, you're just kind of amusing yourself. And all of a sudden, your amusements uh, end up being an open channel. Something steps in and just be like, okay, we'll just sneak a couple images in here. They'll, they'll get the answer. It, it's there. The information's all there. It all makes sense. Um, and it might be be you thinking, oh, well, I just thought of this, you know, it was a great idea I had, you know, I was off in my head doing the whole escapism thing because I'm at work and, well, uh, self-entertainment, you know, 
Um, and this popped into my head and it was great. Now I can continue moving forward with this because I had this great idea. <laughs> hmm. Okay. That's uh, very interesting, especially if you are new to channeling or not realizing that sometimes those thoughts, those images, those dreams are actually not coming directly from your conscious mind. They may be coming from your higher self, your subconscious mind, or they might be coming from your spirit team. So that's going to be interesting for those that are new to that aspect. Now the worst part of your day, we start off with the Seven of Wands. And the Eight of Wands. Okay, yeah. Um, you, some of you, this is going to be difficult to process. You may be a little slow on the uptake. Um, like I said, sometimes things get lost in translation. Sometimes we just think... Oh, yeah, that was weird, and we dismiss it. Others, we don't realize where it comes from, so we're a little iffy on it. Also, for some of us, we're doing this in a dream state. Literally, in a dream state. Um, so, of course, uh, physically, we are not moving anywhere. I mean, unless you can run a marathon while um, sleepwalking, you're physically not going anywhere. <laughs> Hmm. Yeah, sadly some of you just um, either can't sustain the channeling, so you don't get the full message, um, or you're questioning the message, or you just don't, um, once it's received, you don't take action on it uh, right away. So there's a little bit of a, it feels like a little bit of a pause. Okay, so it doesn't um, get assimilated and acted upon right then and there. Now your obstacle or how to get over your obstacle, we have the Eight of Cups. Followed by the Nine of Cups. Okay. So, worst part of your day. Yeah, you might literally walk away from something that you've channeled, an idea, things you were given to utilize that actually are very beneficial and exactly what you needed. They were a gift. Remember, we have the Ace of Pentacles right here. They were a gift. That knowledge, that idea, that thing that you were supposed to work on, you were gifted um, the necessary items, whether that was just simply information or maybe where or how or what to do in order to um, complete something. Yeah, and you walking away, you not utilizing that um, right away it is literally going to put you in that um, roadblock that brick wall, that stagnant period of, oh, I can't move forward on this, is because mm, you might be questioning the source, the validity of that information. Or like I said, your channel, your channeling gets interrupted, so you don't get the whole thing. You don't get the full picture, so something's lost in translation. And that does, yes, make it difficult to act upon or utilize it, especially if it's broken and it's disjointed. Um, some of us like really solid, crucial data, and that's not always um, easily acted upon when you know you have bits of information missing. <laughs> All right. Hmm. Let me make sure there's nothing else here. I don't think, don't think there is nothing else is really. Oh, okay. Well, they're bringing me back to the Seven of Wands. This is a uh, first card we had in the worst part of our day. They're pointing out the protection bubble around the this unicorn, around Mystic, um, in this deck. Since this is a storytelling deck. Uh, you might actually be refusing to channel properly or to get the whole message um, that you're being given. One of the reasons why it might be just jointed is because you're trying to protect yourself. 
something weird happens and it freaks you out or you know you're not used to it whatnot and you start channeling and it's new it's different and you automatically go into fear mode which means you retreat back into self-protection survival mode you might actually be protecting yourself and instead you end up unintentionally blocking part of the information part of um, the gift you're being given whether that means a dream state or daydreaming or just um, using tarot cards channeling a message hearing somebody speak to you um, you know channeling comes in a variety of ways and this may be you opening a channel or you being in a dream state a trance even if you're a shaman maybe you're in a meditative state and you're given a vision, which if that's the first time that happens, uh, I wouldn't be surprised that it may, yes, literally take you by surprise um, and put you in that, oh, I must protect myself bubble as a response. Okay. So, as much as I, I've got collective energy going, there is uh, quite a few new people showing up um, an awakening to spirituality and gifts and figuring how to use their manual, um, how to operate. <laughs> okay. As encouraging as that is, yes, I could see where that might be a little daunting at first if, for those that don't understand. All right. Um, and I did add up all your cards, by the way. Everything here. Uh, adds up to 52, which also reduces to a 7. Now, in my version of numerology that I am using, 7 is for spirit, spiritual knowledge, and uh, collecting data. Yeah, you might not get the full message, or maybe you do. Um, you do get very much so with this uh, queen and king of air, um, a message. Remember, it's a gift. Um, whether that's images, words, you know, it comes in different formats. So please be aware that when we say collecting data, it doesn't mean you're getting a spreadsheet. Um, <laughs> it just means that you could be spoken to, have images, um, be shown something, or have certain musings that may lead you someplace. Hmm. Okay, my best advice is to try and let the channel stay open so you can receive the message. Don't block it. Let it come through. Even if all you're letting it do is go in one ear and out the other, at least you've got received the information and um, haven't blocked it you at least can subconsciously process the information. Okay. Well, for those of you that do like the astrology portion now, um, we do have Moon in Gemini squaring Neptune in Pisces, which is a little bit different from yesterday's astrology portion. Um, so yeah, this is where daydreams do take over. It does get a little hard. Um, to bring yourself back to reality, to focus. However, it does help with working creatively. And when it comes to the humdrum and mundane stuff, uh, that's where things get a little muddied. And it's simply because it's harder to focus on the reality portion versus the imagination, the creativity, the dream state, and hence why um, channeling spirit is coming up is because it's kind of what we're dealing with here. The moon in Cancer is where you strengthen all your internal foundations or the foundation of something that is actually a part of your life that can make you feel more secure. In which case, if we're coming up with new spiritual gifts, we're activating them, we're awakening, um, we're opening new channels, hey, hey. Um, that does help your spiritual foundation. It does help you foster new connections. It does make you more stable. Um, not surprised I'm getting a whole bunch of new people um, who have not experienced this um, for today showing up as the majority energy of the collective. 
it's there for others that have done this before, which um, I, I haven't really addressed so flat out simply because they're used to this. They'll be like, okay, okay, when it happens, I'll, I'll just pay more attention to that one. Apparently that one's important and off they go. Um, but for those that are new to this process or haven't had it happen to them, they're where it can, it's just they haven't had it initiate. Uh, you you have that knee-jerk reaction. You have that self-protection trying to kick in. You have that, was that really real? Did that really happen? What was that type kind of energy coming in um, where you question the validity of it? So, yes, I'm curious to know how many of you have this uh, new item showing up for you feel comfortable go ahead and let me know in the comment section down below anyway I'm gonna go ahead and stop babbling I'm gonna leave this here for you for today so uh, if it does resonate by all means give me a thumbs up and if it does not no worries it is a general reading after all so please take what resonates leave the rest thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys tomorrow bye